All right, hold it there, hold it there. All right, so you want to become good at almost anything. You want to become the best or at least functional, enjoying yourself. You need a coach, that's all you need. You do not need someone with you 24 seven. You do not see, need someone all the time. Your coach sometimes is someone like me and I can be hard or I can be easy. If you do not do your part, if you do not practice, if you do not go out and have some fun with whatever you're trying to learn, I doubt this is it, but we're trying to learn English. So, no matter where you go, you have your MP3 with you at all times, right? And you have your worksheet, your play sheet, how you're going to conduct yourself no matter where you go. Today, we are going to talk about another one of our techniques as a skill, as something that is a motor skill, coordinating your thoughts, your ear, and your mouth. It takes practice, but it takes good practice. But one of the most basic things is you cannot sit at home, you cannot sit at a computer, you cannot just think yourself to becoming good at speech and speaking fluently. You need to make it out loud. I do not care whether you sing. What was it? Puff the magic dragon, live by the sea. I don't care if you sing bad. Puff the magic dragon, live by the sea. No, that doesn't make any difference. It needs to be out loud. It is coordinating our mouth and the muscles in our mouth and our tongue to be able to form new sounds and new combinations. And it has to be out loud because we have to hear it to coordinate it. And it's all controlled by our mind. But which side of our mind? Not our left, our right side, this side. The side where our language center is at. Out loud is critical. You can whisper the words, Puff, the magic dragon live by the sea. You can sing, we already talked about that. You can speak it, Puff. The magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Halali. You can rap it, Puff, by the magic dragon. You can yell it, you've heard of crazy English. Puff, the magic dragon lived by the sea. I don't care what it is, how you do it, it has to be out loud. It is a skill that is one of the key techniques of our whole system, is get it out loud. And out loud is something else too, it's a spiritual thing. Um, whatever you profess with your mouth, that brings power to your words. That will open you up and bring you into the real world and make it real. So. One more technique, a simple one, but a critical one. Get it out there. Get it out. Get it out. Whatever it is on the inside, get it out. Your fears will begin to melt away when you keep doing it out loud. One of the most um, shocking things for a lot of people, particularly young people, is hearing their own voice and exerting their own voice. That gives you authority. Your voice is your authority. Your voice is your system to communicate with the world. A lot of people think that writing is that system. It's certainly a common practice now, but it is not natural and it is not the way you were built, the way you were created. You were not created with a pencil in your hand. You were created with a voice and a heart that needs expression. That's what you need to do. Get it out there. I'm sure there's some other deep stuff that I'm not going to hit on today, but we have some practicing to do. And the technique for today is out loud. Don't make me call a foul on you. Don't make me say, whoa, down, get it out. Get it out. Have fun with it. And the louder, the better. All right. I, I should be able to turn this off. Where's my button? I had a button. I've got a button. I can turn it off. There.